and joining us on the broadcast is Major Mohammad Ali Shah, defence expert. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us on News X. Some rather heart-wrenching news we are talking about at this point. An 80-year-old woman was burnt alive. She was, in fact, the wife of a freedom fighter. What is your very first reaction to these tragic developments? Right. You know, firstly, I am extremely saddened, extremely sorry, and extremely my heartfelt condolences to the entire Breed family. The wife of a freedom fighter, and a very senior citizen, is not spared. I will not name the tribe or the community who was the perpetrator, who was the who harmed whom. But the very fact, my brethren from Manipur, I would say, whether Kuki or Maite or Paite, Paite or Pangas or Sanamai or it's not important or Tanku is not important. The very fact is yes, and I am thankful to you for not actually mentioning which tribe over here right, right now. I do not want to mention which tribe or community, who attacked, who, where. But the very fact remains, humans are attacking humans. Freedom fighters' families are not being spared. A Kargil war hero, a Kargil war hero from the Assam Regiment, who belongs to Manipur, his wife was molested, who says, when I was in the army, I served the nation in the IPKF, Indian Peacekeeping Force in Sri Lanka, in the late 80s. I fought the Kargil War in 1999, but I could not protect my own family, my own village. A freedom fighter who fought for a nation, his wife, 80-year-old wife, is burned alive. Is this humanity? Is this where we have come to as Indians? Really very sad, really very sad. And heart bleeds, heart bleeds no end because I call Manipur my home. Let me tell you a small incident. Uh, you know, it happened in 2005 in uh, November. In uh, the cookies would call that place Lamka, Trashanpur. I was there on a patrol. We entered a house and it was 2004. The infamous Manurma Devi rape case had just taken place, allegedly rape case had just taken place. So the uh, army and the Assam rifles, their image had taken a beating. Now we entered a house. Not to search them, though Armed Forces Special Power Act was there, of course, not to search anything, but as a friendly gesture, we entered a house. We saw discomfort among the people in the house. And within five minutes, I sent the discomfort. I said, let's leave. But the head of the family told us, no, please sit. He didn't allow us to go until he served us tea and water. And later on, I found out that he, they were so poor. They didn't have tea, tea leaves. They didn't have milk powder. They didn't have milk. To make tea. They served us tea because they borrowed it from the neighbor. Such was a large heart. Those are the people. And the next day, when I heard this, their family had a small baby, did not have meal. They didn't have the dinner that, that night. I felt people from the Northeast are such large hearted people. And these are the people who I have always felt they are very principled. They are men of the word. They don't let the word down. They are men of character. They are very cultured. And I still say they are, they are, they are few bad eggs who are causing this dirty damage to our land. When I say our land, I call money for my home. I, I may not have been born there, but I've spent the happiest memories from Manipur. My best friends are from Manipur, from both sides, from Maite community, from Gukhi tribe, from Naga, from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And now when that is happening to a place which has been so beautifully regarded, by me, by my family, by a lot of people. It really pains me no end. It really pains me no end. Where are we heading to? And let me tell you, if it doesn't stop now, there's a danger of it spilling over. Indeed. So it has to stop at any cost because an eye for an eye will make the entire nation go blind. Indeed, so I don't Indeed Major Shah. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us as well as Major Shah for coming on the broadcast, taking out time, presenting your perspectives. Indeed, reconciliation and establishment of peace is the very first thing that we should look for in Manipur. 